Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to read our last fairy tale from our fairy tales unit. It's called Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And you might have heard this story before or maybe even seen the Disney video. A long time ago, in a land not too far from here, there lived a beautiful little girl whose dad was the king. Everyone called the little girl Snow White because she had such fair skin like her mother who died when Snow White was a baby. Snow White was really cool. So was her dad. Unfortunately, not everyone can be so cool. One day, Snow White's dad, the king, married a really pretty woman who was not so cool. She was crazy. She was also really vain. Every day the new queen would look in her hand mirror and say, mirror, mirror in my hand, am I the prettiest lady in this land? And the mirror would always say, yep, until one day when it said, nope. You see, Snow White had grown from a girl into a lady and now her beauty surpassed the queen's. This made the queen furious and she banished Snow White to the forest. Snow White was cool, so she went to the forest, made a bunch of friends, and learned to be happy there. She moved in with seven really cool dwarfs who became her best friends. This was not quite what the queen had in mind. The queen kept asking her mirror if she was the prettiest in the land, and the mirror kept saying, nope. This drove the queen even more crazy. So the queen dressed up in a disguise, found Snow White and fed her a black magic apple that made her choke. Snow White passed out. The queen celebrated. Then she ran back home to talk to her mirror again because that is what crazy queens do. Don't worry, the queen would remain disappointed. What the queen didn't realize is that Snow White had tons of friends. The minute the seven really cool dwarfs got home, they found Snow White and knew she was choking. So they worked together to help her dislodge the apple. Snow White snapped right out of it. Snow White was mad. She lost her cool a little. Look out, queen. Snow White was a cool lady, but trying to choke her was too much. She was done with this queen. She marched straight home told her dad what happened and helped him move the queen out of the castle and into the forest where she was ordered to live from that day forward. The ex-queen wasn't what you'd call forest material. St stuck living in the forest, the ex-queen was pretty miserable. Eventually, the seven really cool dwarfs took pity on her and agreed that she could live with them if she agreed to do all the cooking and cleaning. Not an easy job since there were seven of them. But the queen got used to it and even learned to like it. She even ended up pretty cool. The end. Boys and girls, I bet that story is a little different than the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs that you might have seen or read already. But remember, sometimes we can twist up fairy tales and make them a little bit different. Just like the true story of the Three Little Pigs, how that was a little bit different. This version of Snow White was a little bit different. Let's look at the elements of this fairy tale. Did it have the words once upon a time? Nope. Did it have talking animals? Nope. Did it have the number three or seven? Yes, it had seven dwarfs. How about the setting? Was it a castle, cottage, or woods? Yep. It was all three. Was there magic? Yes, there was the magic potion with the ma or the magic apple. Was there a problem? Was there a problem? Yes, there was definitely a problem. Was there a solution? You betcha. The king helped solve the problems. The dwarfs helped solve the problems. There were several problems and several solutions. Was there good versus evil? You betcha, there was definitely good versus evil. How about royalty, was there royalty? Yep, a king and a queen. And was there a happy ending? Sure was, there was a happy ending. Let's count them up and see how many there were. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
There were eight elements of fairy tales. Great job. Now start at the beginning and retell the story to your learning coach. Tell them who the characters are, where they go, and what happens in the beginning, middle, and end of this version of Snow White. Keep up the great work. Bye.